Hey guys, Tyler and Lyra here. So today we're going to be testing the X-Force Universal Smart Keys. Uh, right now we're sitting in a 2015 Nissan Altima. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and start by assigning the FCC ID for this car. So I have one of the original keys here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and read it first just to see the chip that's inside. So it has an ID47 chip, Phillips 47. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to remote slash smart program, smart key procs, Asia, because it's a Nissan, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select Nissan. And now it gives us several different options. So ID4A, so that's, um, that's an uh, AES chip, which is not the one that goes for my car, so we're gonna ignore that. This one's a 315 megahertz, which mine's 433. This is 433, but it's ID 46, not 47. 315 minus 433. So here we go. ID 47, 433 megahertz. Uh, this is the only option that's this way. This one's also a 4A. So this is the only option that we have that would possibly work. So I'm going to go ahead. I already have a battery inside of this key. I'm going to go ahead and just stick it in there. Hit generate. The transponder chips towards the... Uh, close to the lock button here so that's where I'm gonna ha have the coil the key in the coil where the uh, chip is and then we're gonna go ahead and wait till this finishes writing a few moments later so we'll, we'll, it went ahead and completed so now I'm gonna read it make sure it's reading correctly So it says locked. We tested this once already. It said locked the first time after we generated it, but it, it still went ahead and programmed. So that that's not important that it says locked. It should still work regardless. And just to show you, also 433 megahertz. Right there, 433 megahertz. So it's transmitting at the right frequency too. So we're gonna go ahead and try to program it now. So we got our auto prepared basic. We go to Nissan Infinity, hit agree, preemptively hit our hazards, program keys, type, smart key, 20 pin code, type 1, program smart keys, hazards are on, we're good to go there, press the start button until it pops up, cool. Switch the ignition off. Press OK to continue. And then we're gonna press the button with the remote. Just at one time. We get it to come back up. You can turn it off. Press it again. Five beeps. Turn it off. Key registration complete. Good to go. It works. Thanks, guys.